Welcome to Hudson Auto Works video walkthrough of our 2012 Kia Optima SX. As we may see, it's in a titanium silver color, as Kia calls it, but it's a very metallic silver bronze -ish. I'm gonna continue going around the car, showing you the condition of the body, and then we'll check out the interior, talking more about the vehicle history in more detail. Look at the tires. See, we have gas on the driver's side. See, we have our Kia badge and our SX badge. Also says T, GDI. Take a peek into the interior. Here's our passenger rear door panel. As we can see, it's a black leather. And a very cool thing, our carbon fiber accents. Now we have a button and also the back seats are heated. You can have a button to heat that. Now here's our manual door handle and lock switch. Taking a look inside now, we can see we have a black leather going around. Also has this fabric that matches the body of the car as we can see we have a sunroof the sunroof allows access to the wind and the moonroof it actually just lets us see like an extra window on top but looking back here we have a speaker in the center of the back Check out, we have a vent for the back seats here too. And give you a look of the dashboard and front two seats. All right, let's make our way back to the driver's side. Here's our driver door panel. Carbon fiber accents, our window buttons, window lock, lock unlock for all the doors, mirror controls. Here's our manual handle and lock switch. And we have seat presets here. Because our seats are electric, you can get adjusted however you want, set it to whichever number you want here. And you can just click that and it'll go back to your default settings so you can be comfortable as soon as you jump in the car. But we also have our infinity speaker here. This, you pull it to have access to the trunk. Push this to have access to your gas and our cup holder. Moving back to here, we have the same style seats all around. Our dashboard is mainly just black leather. Maybe some black plastics as well. But we're gonna take a seat. Okay. So this is a push to start. So we're gonna hold our brake in and we're gonna come right here, hold in the start button. Let's take a look at the odometers of this vehicle. As we may see, we have 110,000 miles total on the odometer. So about this car, this car has had two owners from Florida. The first owner was a personal lease owner from three years and four months. Good thing about lease owners is that they take care of a car that's not theirs or else they'll get charged for it. Usually those type of terms exist in those contracts. But either way, we see that they've taken very good care of the car had consistent service records done at a Kia dealership there in Florida. And also we had a second personal owner of five years and nine months. They drove significantly under the industrial average of 15,000 being 10,688 every year. That's very good. This owner has also had consistent service records. Please click the Carfax button above. 
other than that, what strikes me first being in this interior is looking at the steering wheel. I like the plus and minus here. These are paddle shifters. You can click either side. This is to upshift to another gear, downshift in another gear. Same could be done here with the shift knob. If you put it in drive, you knock it over to this side, you can control it. If you're driving normally, I would just say keep it in drive, press your eco mode here on the steering wheel, save your gas. Another cool thing about this car is the Bluetooth controls. This has voice hands-free commands. This is for answering and hanging up the phone. Other than that, you can turn up the volume from your steering wheel. First, it prompts us to agree to this because this car does have navigation. But we're gonna go to FM. We're on the North Carolina station. I don't know what they're playing on. 102 jams, audio off. We know that works. Now here's our other audio buttons. Phone, if you wanna connect your phone. We're just gonna leave that alone for now. You control your climate here, the intensity of the air. You can change the temperature as well. You can change the mode of where you want it to blow. Very cool thing about these seats is that they're heated and cooled. See that? Now we have our two cup holders here in the front. Give you a little peek in the back here. These seats are in great condition, no rips. Um, this dash is in great condition, no rips. We might have slight peeling here on the steering wheel. Other than that, let's get access to our hood and our trunk so we can take a quick peek at those. If you hear that noise, it's the car telling us we took the key out the car while it's still running. All right, let's take a look at the engine. As you see, this is why the T GDI badge was on the rear. This is a turbo GDI 2.0 liter engine. This car is very clean, freshly detailed. Everything is in working order. We make sure to maintenance all of our vehicles fluids, make sure they're road safe. If you have any inquiries about this vehicle or anything else on our lot, call us or visit us at HudsonAutoWorks.com. There you can find all the information needed to contact us. Thank you.